What's going on guys and welcome back to Upper Left RC. Another big package arrived today. Boom! Red Cat Gen 8 V2 10th scale crawler. Very excited to unbox this thing, bust it open, take a look and see what it's got in shipping. It kind of got a hole here, so I'm a little worried about what's going on in there. But it'll be a great addition to this 10th scale Losi Nightcrawler I got. I have two to compare. One that's more competition based, really crazy articulation suspension, and then one standard crawler similar to the 24 scales that I got. Lots of different options on the box here. Fully detailed, LED ready headlights and tail lights, all that jazz. Um, front bumper, rear bumper, actual beadlock wheels, um, good ground clearance. It's got portal axles, which is awesome. Really excited about the portal axles. Metal suspension links. Um, yeah, let's just bust into this thing and take a look, see what's going on. All right, so we're gonna pop this thing open. It was kind of odd to me that it shipped like this, but I've seen other unboxing videos and stuff, and it seems like this is how it arrives for everyone. So I'm glad I was at home when they dropped it off. That way it wasn't just sitting on my porch. If everyone saw what that was, it's pretty likely it could have been stolen, but. All right, let's take a look. And again, it did have a hole in the box right here, but the rest of the box looked pretty undamaged, so I think we're gonna be okay. Some of this crazy stuff here. Here it is. Pull the box out of the way real quick. Let's set this thing down. Bam! So we got the truck. Back up here. Got. Um, quite a few parts here. I've seen that these are the full hardware and everything for mounting body posts. Um, books, little tool, all that jazz. It also comes with a slew of stickers. So if you want a good look at those, got some Red Cat stickers, some like scale four wheel drive stickers, the Scout 2 decals. I was always curious what kind of decals this thing came with. No one ever seemed to uh, show a close-up on it or show them putting them on the trucks, but let's peel this off and take a look. Ooh, we went with the purple one. I really like the purple. I've already got the green Losi. I didn't want to have two green trucks. That's neon green too. And it would have made this one look dull, I think, if we got the green one. Let's, there we go. Now we can see what we're doing. Let's see, so we got the transmitter radio in here. Nice little transmitter for a ready to run. And actually, you know what's funny? <laughs> Grip sliding off. This looks an awful lot like the transmitter you get. Actually, I think it's the exact same one. Different options, of course underneath but this is the exact same transmitter you get with the Roxta um, Basher 24 scale four-wheel steer controller so very cool it's a nice good grip good throw great turning lots of red cat decals on it and lots of other options below as well let's get this truck out of here come on what are we doing well that's what the main attraction is that's what we all want to see how's this thing in here Looks like some I apologize for the heavy breathing if you can hear it. I got a crazy sinus infection that I'm fighting off. Bam. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. I am so excited to rip this thing. Let's let's take a closer look. One second. All right, because of the sheer size of this thing, I got to do it in widescreen, so it might have a fisheye effect. But this thing is awesome. We've got portal axles, which I'm very excited about. It makes great ground clearance, and essentially what that does is the drive shaft runs into this knuckle here. It has a gearing setup to where it'll actually gear it down, and you get the axle up top, the gear down below next to the wheel and tire, so you get all this extra clearance when you're going over obstacles. Um, we got some nice metal suspension or steering arms, um, servo on chassis, which I like. 
not that it matters either way. Great oil-filled shocks. I can feel that those things just have a ton of dampening. And the body itself. Great detailed body. Nice, thin, hard body. Um, I don't think this is Lexan. I think this is hard plastic. Got some sweet fender guards here. A nice aggressive tire that it feels nice and soft. These are Super Swampers, IROC Super Swampers. Um, yeah, those are nice and grippy. Those are nice and soft too. There is foam in there. I can feel that there's foam, um, but it gives really well. So I think you see the tire flex with just a little bit of weight. That's one finger. Um, I like the black bolt in here. Um, I did see that, whoa, geez, almost dropped it. Uh, it's got the D-rings on the front and back. I saw that some of them came with a Red Cat like bumper hitch. I wonder if that's in the box over there. Got the Gen 8 V2 Arizona license plate on the back, a nice decal. The stickers are nice. The clear covers for the lights front and back are really nice. These little guys here fold around. And then the body is actually Velcroed on. And I've seen so many people try and pull this off and feel like they're gonna break it. And I'm nervous about that because I also feel like I'm probably gonna break it. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get this off of here. Okay, there's one side. Keep that up off the Velcro and try and pry on this side as well. Ooh. Yeah, that is very tough the first time you do that. This body is massive. It's so cool. Great detail. I can't wait to get some stickers on it. Looking inside here, we've got the, I believe this is called a Dean's connector. And the good thing is I bought one of these. I got a couple more on the way, but this 5,000 milliamp two cell 20 C discharge Venom lipo battery that has a bunch of different adapters for it. One of which is the Dean's connector. The other two um, are the, there was another one and then a blue one, a lot like what the Losi has here. This blue decal, whatever, or connector, whatever that is. I forget the names of them, but this is great because I can run it with multiple trucks. I'm gonna have a couple of them. I can just swap out the connector, whatever I need. I don't have a soldering kit or anything yet to be able to like switch all the leads to the same thing, but that's fine. So we've got this Hexfly, ESC Red Cat 550 turn motor. I believe it's 550. Um, this is supposedly waterproof or water resistant with the little antenna here. Um, no lights wired up, but they do make a really awesome light kit. So I'm going to be picking that up for sure because I want to get lights on this thing. Nice big battery tray. It's pretty shallow um, compared to most battery trays that I've seen so far. And by most, I mean the only other one is the Losi. <laughs> But it's got good Velcro straps. They got that sweet Red Cat logo on it, along with on the battery, the controller, everything. Red Cat's really into branding. Um, it does have more weight in the front. If I pick it up right about in the middle, I can definitely feel all the weights in the front, which makes sense where the battery and the big servo are. And that's kind of what you want for crawling. Underneath, we've got aluminum metal link suspension, um, trailing arms. We got full four link in the back, three link in the front, which just means this link right here we don't have another one coming off the other side but we do kind of have a fourth link up here this bent one on the side right here I'm gonna say that's a fourth link it just doesn't connect in the standard typical way you would see them but you got these little side steps here um, adjustable rear bumper you got multiple levels we can adjust the rear bumper on I've seen so many different like bolt-ons and upgrades and stuff. I'm very excited to try those out. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a ton of fun. All right, we got it outside in the backyard. Let's see how well it climbs. Oh yeah, no problem. All right guys, so the next couple clips you're gonna see are uh, 
me and my dad, we took the Losi and the new Scout 2 out uh, to a local park and ripped them around and crawled them a little. Um, didn't really have a transition for it, lost some more footage, I gotta figure out what's going on. But I figured I'd give you a, a clip of crawling on this too, since I did it with the Losi, now that I have these set up. Whew. Definitely gonna scrape the body up pretty quick on this thing. Definitely gonna tear the body up pretty quick. But yeah, hope you like the footage. It's of the Losi and the uh, Red Cat Scout here, just out at a park. I think there's a little bit more footage of the Losi than there is the Red Cat, but I figured this is the best video to put it in. So hope you guys enjoy. down.
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. A bunch of random clips um, from two different days worth of filming right after I got this thing. Um, the Red Cat uh, Gen 8 V2 Scout 2 <laughs> crazy name. I think we're just going to call it the Purple People Eater. Um, I think it does great. Uh, it's got quite a bit of speed for a crawler, and it also, you can get it to crawl slow, um, not nearly as slow as this thing. I know I had some clips of, of this guy in there too. This has really, really good, super slow crawlability, crazy articulation. This is a definite rock crawler. This is what you and your buddies hop in and go, you know, beat up trails with um, in, in real life with a full scale one. But the, it, it acts the same way. It's great for trail running um, and just driving over, you know, fun obstacles. You can either go quick, you can go a little slow if you want to try and get, you know, precise lines on certain obstacles and stuff. But for the most part, this thing's more of a trail basher and this thing is a rock crawler. Both 10 scale, both awesome. Love the way these things look and the way they handle. Ton of fun to drive. Got lots of upgrades coming for this guy. Um, this one... I don't really think there's much I need to do to it. I do know I want to get some wheel weights. A little bit more weight right down low, right over the axle or on the ends of the axle. Um, in some of the footage, I don't know if you could tell, but when it gets up on an obstacle, it takes a second for it to settle, you know, the suspension to settle into where you want it to sit once you pick your line. Um, and this one, you know, it's just fun all around. I don't really think there's many upgrades I need, but there's a lot of bolt-on stuff I want to get. I've got a light set on the way, and I think that's it for now. But there's a few more things I'm going to get as well. Um, but yeah, love the trucks. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. A lot more coming with these guys, and a lot more going on with this back here. This is going to be a really cool um, crawler course that we're going to set up. Right now, it's just something simple and basic I had over the last two days of getting these trucks. Um, but a lot more to come for that. So if you want to see how cool this thing is going to turn into... Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, comment down below. Let me know uh, if you were going to get a 10 scale, if you don't already have one and you were going to get one, would you want like a full on competition crawler like this thing or, you know, a trail runner, something fun that makes it hard to climb rocks, but it'll still do it sometimes. Let me know. Uh, I think out of these two, this one's more fun to drive just around. This one's really fun to try and crawl over really difficult obstacles. Those rocks at the end, um, those were in like a drainage ditch, and I didn't think that this would make it at all, but my dad was fairly certain it would, so he took the controls and let it rip, and I think it climbed pretty well through the stuff. Um, doesn't do great with grass or branches, but rocks will do great. So thanks again, guys. We will see you in tomorrow's episode.